tonight, but... Hey, hey, check us out. Pretty good job on my part. Hey, you mind stopping by? Woo! This air conditioning smells like fried chicken. Welcome, Genki enthusiasts, to the third and final match of Mind Over Murder. So far, the Saints head honcho and former leader of the free world has been racking up wins in our latest event. How do you think it'll go today, Bobby? Given this player's previous performances, I can only expect a great show and a big W in the win column, Zach. I have to agree, Bobby. It seems there's nothing this contestant can't do, including outshining Zinyak's own people with her own powers. Careful what you say there, Zach. Remember what happened to us both after your breakdown at the end of the last show. Oh, well, the Wardens have uh, very big hands, Bobby. Yes, they do. I'm just glad to be able to sit down comfortably again. <laughs> oh, I hear ya. Well, like my eighth grade gym teacher used to say, the probe is no joke. Oh, you said that one. I hope our contestant is doing better than I am right now. Well, Bobby, seeing the president in action here reminds me of the tales about the king. I was thinking the same thing, Zach. If only we had been around to see those matches firsthand. Now, for those at home who haven't heard the stories, what do they need to know now? This was decades ago. Zinyak had conquered a planet of warriors. Much like our contestant, one of them stood above the rest and challenged Zinyak himself. Zinyak threw everything he had at the man, but the king just did not stop. Eventually, Zinyak managed to rip the king's mind from his body and bury it deep within his own simulation. Ever since, the king has been looking to escape and get his revenge against our most benevolent overlord. Well, let's hope we never see him again, huh, Bobby? Oh, the king has probably driven himself insane by now. Can you imagine being locked away for so many years with just yourself to talk to? I've had that dream, Bobby. It's cold and it's dark and it's lonely. It's so lonely. <laughs> oh, there, there, Zach. Come on now. You're never going to be alone. Lonely. Not while I'm around. Come here, man. Lonely. So cold. I can't do it. There, there. Smashing performance by the contestant so far. Smashing? I don't think I've heard you use that before. Well, I'm trying something new, Bobby. Uh, what do you think? You know, I've always wanted an occasion to use jolly good. Oh, hello there, little British, are you? That's a classic right there. Hard to pull off with an American accent, though. Like trying to use bloody. And arse. <laughs> what is up with Americans using arse? Yeah, arse never works. But I know people who use it all the time. I don't get it. Well, some things are just mysteries, Bobby. I've been thinking, Bobby, have you seen the professor around much? Not since the mass abduction and obliteration of the Earth, Zach. I can't help but think he's watching over us from wherever he is. Uh, like a guardian angel. A sick, sadistic, cat-headed guardian angel. <laughs> or maybe he's hiding in the shadows with a baseball bat and a hand grenade just waiting for an opportunity to bash someone's head in and make them go boom. A much more likely scenario, Zach. That is what folks tune into this event for. Absolutely. That and your stellar commentary, Zach. Well, thanks, guy. You know, you're no slacks yourself, Bobby. I have always been impressed by your wordplay. Well, you forced me to step up my game in order to keep up with you, Zach. <laughs> We're running out of things to say, aren't we? We absolutely are, Zach. Yeah? Yeah. Was it too much for you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
casket. And that's it, folks. Three glorious bouts and a fine end to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder. Zack and I would like to thank Zinyak for his continued support of the show and for sparing our lives so we may continue to exalt his most highest glory. Good, Good night, night, everybody. everybody.